Hello, turtles. Hello, glow squid. Yes, turn on your hitboxes so I can see where your head is. So I can do this, pow, 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 pow. Look at that, come here. Oh, there's another one over there, there. All right, so that is kind of what the squid, the glowing glow squid farm does. 14 more glow squid. Look, I got a bunch of glow, glowing sacks. Very helpful, very handy. Um, let's eat. And then um, my tools are in not so great shape. So let us go do something about that. What time is it? Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, well, not super convenient. I could go in, I could go over to the skeleton farm. I do need some arrows for what I'm planning on doing next. Let's go over there. Huh, huh. Hello, guys. So let's grab some of these and some of these and some of this. All right, let's uh, let's repair some tools. I've got a lot of tools that are somewhat rough shape. So give me some emeralds, please. Thank you. And not from you. And oh, grab some books. I have books here, right? Yeah, I have books here. Let's go grab some books. Give me some emeralds, please. And what do you want? You, you're kind of useless. There we go. And you could buy some books. Thank you. All right, and you can buy some books. Okay, now that axe is repaired, let's switch over to this pickaxe. You can buy paper and books. Thank you. And I'm running low on books. Paper. I need to buy some bookcases, I think. And make some more books. Last few books there. Ah, uh, paper. Paper. Let's come around this guy. Hi, I'll be back with you in a moment. Paper. Nope. nope. Paper. Ah, uh, nope. Paper. Nope. Okay. Good. Uh, now over here. Hi. You'll take some zombie flesh and nether wart. Uh, this pick is repaired. Let's put the shovel up on the bar. Zombie flesh and nether wart. Nice. One more emerald out of that. Another one. And another one. Okay. And you will take string, right? Yeah, I've got some string here. Nice. This pick is repaired. This hoe needs to be repaired. Let's sell some more string. Sticks, stick trades. Um, what else do I have here? I'm gonna sell more paper. And these guys are probably refreshed. Yes, look at that. Nice. So, everything is now repaired. Let's see how many emeralds we ended up getting. Uh, put the paper away. Uh, no more books left. Put the rotten flesh away. Another wart. Another wart. 
String goes up here. String goes up here. And then emeralds. I've got lots of emeralds. Half a stack of emerald blocks. Just out of that, just repair my tools. That works pretty well, doesn't it? Oh, wait. You're not repaired yet. But it's not going to take much. One of these guys has a decent paper trade, right? You have a decent paper trade. There we go. You're repaired. Thank you. So put that away. Sixteen more emeralds, two more emerald blocks, and thirty-four blocks of emeralds. Over nothing. Okay. Just repairing my tools. Very good. Oh. It's kind of dumb. I left my toolbox over there. But that's okay. We now... Now let me go over to the skeleton farm because I need some arrows. In fact, I should grab a lot of arrows. Um, hello, how did you get in here? Is this a spawn chunk? Uh, oh, I wonder if this is like a spawn chunk right here. I should probably do something about that. I should probably slob the floor right there. Hey guys. Uh, I don't really need to deal with you right now. So I'm going to grab an empty shulker box. I don't know what to do with these slime balls. Uh, and then I've got, I've got a ton of arrows here somewhere, right? <laughs> do I ever. Okay. Put down the shulker box. And let's grab some arrows. So one of the problems of switching to a mending bow is that it does run out of arrows. Okay. So now I need a stack of arrows with me. Okay, good. We can put this in here, put this back. So one thing I might want to do is I still have the old infinity bow. Oh, wait. How did that happen? So the infinity bow in here, I think. Let me grab some more arrows. And put them in with this. So this, this becomes backup. Um, and I should probably make another good power five backup bow. There we go. Hey guys. Um, And yep. Uh, okay. And then the next thing I should do is I should make a, a bunch more golden apples. Now I have a gold farm, which right now will not work because Kurt is on the server, probably in the overworld, and gold farm is not going to function. But I have lots of piles of gold, and I have apples. So let's go back over and look at the stockpiles I have and make myself some golden apples. Oh, look, he just left the game. So that all, uh, uh, yeah, but I don't want to go farming gold right now. It's kind of boring. I have a good amount of gold. I can make a bunch of golden apples. Ideally, my end chest, ender chest, would have a stack of golden apples in it. And. Oh, you know what? So I can get apples from the villagers. It's probably the easiest source. Let's go over here to my underground area and take a look. Okay, so over here. I have 
I get apples out of these, right? Yeah, there's some, there's six. And then up here, so this is the dark oak. Come on. Uh, and then I have savanna or acacia trees. Or tree. Birch trees. And up here I have regular oak trees. These get apples too. So I got 17 apples. Hmm. Okay. And that's the last of the apple. That's the last of the trees, right? I got jungle and spruce, giant spruce down there. And of course, I think you've all seen this. So I've got both types of the giant fungus. I've got the crimson wart and the, uh, the warped nylium below that. And then over here, I've got cactus and <clears throat> Below that, I've got sugarcane. And below that, I've got bamboo. So we've got all the vertical skinny stuff. And then over here, I've got storage, seagrass, turtles, and glow squid. Now, I'm going to turn one of these into a kelp farm. Thinking about where to do that. I have to do a little research. I don't know if I want to put it here. It is tall and skinny. I could maybe put it above the... Oops. Could maybe put it above the... Cactus plenty of room up here. I have to see how tall I can put a floor in here and then I've got pretty good height. I don't think the uh, sea kelp grows that high. So and I've got gold. 18 blocks of gold plus six ingots. Oh look, I can stash my my slime ball here. Um, yeah, so let's see how many golden apples that'll make. I should be able to make all 17. I have more I have more gold over by the villager area. So we can make some more, but 17 might be enough. Uh, I added more storage in here. So this was one chunk's worth of chests. I added another chunk's worth of chest and put a roof above it and put some shroom lights for lighting instead of the torches along the wall that I had there. So now I've got lighting, just so I can see. And now that I've got a good source of glow ink sacks, I can put glowing signs on these. Because right now I've been relying on doing black on, on birch. Because that's the most readable there is, right? This is birch, right? Yeah, uh, that's the most readable that there is um, without getting into glowing. And then I might, just because, you know, this isn't enough like Indiana Jones and The Rise of the Lost Ark, I might take this back another, another thing here. And then these three, who knows? Maybe more storage. I don't know. Uh, eventually, I'll build a shulker farm. And I'll have good supply of shulker boxes. In which case, then we can stack shulker boxes inside these. And then I won't need quite so many chests. But that's what we have for now. And this here is as far back as I can go. Within the range of the beacon. Beacon range runs out somewhere around here. Yeah, see, the beacon runs out here. So this is still in the beacon area here. Yeah. So that's it. Um, I will have to build another beacon if I want additional coverage. But this is pretty ridiculous. I do want to go... There's some stuff up there that I know that's there. Um, some caves. Abandoned mineshaft. There's a spider spawner. Cave spider spawner. 
So having a string farm over here as part of this would be really nice. So let's uh, do that. How many golden apples? I can make 17 golden apples and still have a couple gold. Oops. <clears throat> a couple gold uh, blocks of gold left. Three be exact there we go and then inside my inner chest here now I have 18 gold apples okay and I should ideally inside here have more golden apples just because if I get into a combat -y situation it would be a good thing to have on hand but it's okay Ah, uh, we can put away this because I'm not going to use it real right away. Don't necessarily need the shovel. Don't necessarily need you. And the axe might be helpful. Axe might be very helpful. And then, definitely want some blocks. But... May as well make them fun blocks. Um, I don't know what counts as a fun block. Diorite stands out nicely. Let's make sure we have a stack of diorite. Okay, back over to the village area. Hello, sir. Okay, so you want an emerald and a compass to give me an ocean explorer map and also a woodland explorer map. So my goal right now, not going to go too crazy on it, but I want... Surely I have a ton of compasses somewhere, right? I should. Interesting. Okay, well, I know I can get some. Oh, here we go. So I want to figure out if I'm near an ocean monument somewhere and I've not seen one in this game, in this world. So here's the ocean explorer map. Here's a woodland explorer map. Go put these things away. Um, these I can put down here. I need to keep one. And these are ready to go. And then you can go back down there. And I think I need more rockets. Just to be safe. Ideally, I would have like a whole thing full of rockets. Oh, I already had a bunch of arrows. Okay. Well, I don't really need a soccer box full of bows. Let me go someplace in. Okay. Back to the Winter Chalet. We'll craft those bows into dispensers. Drop off the second shulker box of arrows, and I should have fireworks rockets. So, ah, stop it. I should have fireworks rockets, at least some. Giddy. Uh, fireworks. Fireworks. Okay, I'll take that. Um, probably. Just go probably pick up more gunpowder. I'll do that later. And then 
Let's see. That's right. Whole box of arrows. So I have I have a bunch of cobblestone. So the whole thing of bows here. That's what I'm after. So let's put this down here. Bows. And then I have cobblestone. I should have tons of cobblestone. I don't have it here. And then I've got some redstone here. Put one of these things cobblestone away. So I can make dispensers. Spencer. Okay. Should have cleared more inventory space before I started this, but. Oh, I don't need this much cobblestone, do I? I do not. So I can make a couple dispensers at a time. Okay. Okay, so I didn't need as much cobblestone as I thought, so I can put this cobblestone away. Cobblestone goes here. Got dispensers. I have a little redstone stash here. Dispensers because that's a dropper. There we go. Redstone can go back down here. And I have two stacks of rockets. I have more than a stack of food. I have more food in my inner chest. I have blocks. You are now an empty shulker box. Go back in here. Oops. Back in here. More arrows than I know what to do with. Which I think I have like a stash of arrows here somewhere, right? I should. Arrows. Yeah, there we go. Arrows. Remember to keep one. Okay. And another empty shulker box goes away. So I've got a bunch of empty shulker boxes. Miscellaneous stuff, a bunch of arrows, and some gold, which I don't really need to keep here, do I? Let's have gold here. You know what? Good call. Eventually, yes, I will want to have a shulker box full of gold blocks, but I don't need it right now. Okay. Another empty shulker box. Okay. Now. Could use a boat. Got plenty of apples. Uh, grab a boat. Let's go on a little adventure. Oh, a lot of wandering trader without his llamas. Packed ice, jungle sapling. Okay. Hi. Thank you for visiting. Where are your llamas? Okay. So, oh, hello, Larry. Oh, okay. So, um, I should have. Stop it. Got some bottles of enchanting. I may need these. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stash these in here in with this. Uh, 
Yeah. Just in case I need an emergency repair of stuff on the road. Good. Um. And... Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go... We're going to see if we can find ourselves an ocean monument. Figure out where that is. Because I haven't, I haven't seen one, and I don't have any prismarine. I don't have any sea lanterns. So... I was thinking we just head over to the coast, right over to the shoreline, right over here. Plop down a boat. Hey, what are you doing, Larry? I have a very, uh, I have a kitty on my lap that is not sure what he wants to do with his life. Okay. Ooh, look at that. The gold farm, the overworld portion of the gold farm. All right, so Woodland Explorer map. Stop it. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got. Ooh. That dot is pretty large. I might not be that far away from one. Stop it. So I want to go northwest. And let's let's put this into my offhand slot so it's a little bit easier to see. So northwest. Let's go over that way. Okay, so I slept in a bed. That means I should be able to go a few nights if I have to without dealing with the phantoms. It is kind of midday. Oh, look. Oh, it's close. It's right there. I see it. It's right there. I see it. Oh, it's so exciting. I assume this is unmolested, right? I see it. Yeah. Okay, screenshot and run away. Or back off a little bit. So, let's map out the rest of this little map here. Let's fill it in. So we have a little time, then I'll head back to my little desert island. And, uh, okay, so there's a, there's a, a ocean monument, pretty close. Oh, it's neat, it shows undersea features pretty well. Okay, ocean monument, pretty close to the Mushroom Island, so that's good. Uh, I won't have to, like, go crazy in the nether to get there. Um, and I can put together a little, uh, shulker box full of stuff that would be useful to uh, tackle an ocean monument. Take it down, get some sponges, because I don't have any, uh, and then maybe build a guardian farm out of it. There are some relatively low effort guardian farms now that I've seen. Let's turn this way. And, um, be nice to have a good source of prismarine and, uh, and sea lanterns. So. So I have coordinates. I did a screenshot. And we can figure out. If I can put a, I should be able to, once I deal with the monument, I can just generate a portal right near it. Could do that anyway, I think. Might be a little dangerous at first, but once I subdue the ocean monument, it should be okay. Uh, 
Okay, I have to be a little careful coming down this side because we're going to sail by it. That's okay. So this should be a fun little thing. I can do this on a stream. Wait. Pick up this patch in the middle. And I'll have to go brew some potions, some water breathing potions, some healing potions. And some <clears throat> visibility potions that might be useful. Um, what else would be good? Night vision. You know, to see a little better underwater is a helpful thing. Probably come up with some TNT. And come back and kill all the guardians. Maybe empty out the monument. So the monument's over there. I can see it. Be a little careful coming around this side. But we can get past it. I don't think it's a problem. And then we will see if we can make our way back to that little island. Head back home, use that as a press stop, and then head back to the Mushroom Island. Look, a portal. That's the entrance to the gold farm. All right. Let's take the full stacks of zombie flash. That'd be helpful for trading. Let's make. Okay. There's that. Oh, I can make 12 blocks. Not bad. Oh, he's so creepy. Um, I have 18 golden apples in here, I think. 18. What would it take to make a stack of them? How many will this make me? 45. A stack and then some. There we go. We have a whole stack of golden apples. And fill the Ocean Explorer nap. Oh, and it's raining. Lovely. All right. So we, uh, we accomplished some things here. We got uh, found an ocean monument. Um, got a stack of golden apples, added some more gold to our collection, and then used a bunch of it to make a stack of golden apples. And, uh, so yeah, I think we're going to call that a day. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Bye.